2 Peter chapter 3, verse 10 But the day of the Lord will come like a thief. The heavens will disappear with a roar. The elements will be destroyed by fire, and the earth and everything in it will be laid bare. Heavenly Father, please help us to grow closer to you and learn what we're supposed to learn. In Jesus' name. Is lithium. You'll see here, Li is a symbol for lithium. Li. Li is a symbol for lithium. The atomic mass number is 6.941. So what will we do since it's above 6.5? We're going to round that to 7. The atomic number is this number here that's in blue. It's going to look different on uh, different periodic tables, but the number is going to be the same. Atomic number is 3. That tells us that we have 3 protons. And you should really write down atomic number above it also. So 7 minus 3 is 4, so we have 4 neutrons. A. The way that periodic table works is if it's just one letter, they're always going to be a capital, a capital, an uppercase. And then if there's two letters, the first letter is going to be a capital, and this, uh, this next letter is going to be a small case. Let's go ahead and take a look and make a lithium atom bore model. Lithium is right here. It is in period number two. So we know that we have to draw two energy shells. One and two. We know that it has three protons, so we're going to put three protons. Three P, right in the center, in the nucleus. And then we go ahead, we know that we have lithium is 6.941, so we're going to take that, round that to seven, minus three equals four neutrons. So this is equal to four neutrons. Now the way this fills in, the first energy shell is full with two electrons. If we had three protons, we know that we have to have three electrons. So, but the first shell is full with two electrons. As soon as that one is full, we move on to the next part. So what we got here is two electrons on the inner shell, and then we're going to build up to the next shell is going to be full with one electron. Now we have to, to construct our formula. You'll see here that we have negative three electrons plus positive three protons equals zero net charge. Here's the lithium atom Bohr model and you can see up in the upper right hand corner how I have the red Plato for protons, the blue Plato for neutrons, and the binder clips to represent electrons. You can use any of your household items as long as they are safe. Thank you. Right here is the name, the lithium atom. On the periodic table you're gonna have two energy shells, so that's why I have two circles. And in the center there you're gonna see uh, three red protons and four uh, blue neutrons. And keep, please keep in mind this is not to scale of actually how an atom uh, the, uh, the relative sizes would be. But also what we want to take in consideration here is that these are actually all together. So you just kind of take the red and the blues, put them together a little bit like this. And you're basically building yourself the nucleus. I hope they saw that. And so it's more like a sphere in the center, and they're moving all over it, kind of like Play-Doh-ish. That's why I'm using uh, Play-Doh, one of the reasons. So you can see here they're all squished together and all combined. I wanted you to, you to see that there was three of them and then four of them, and then right in the center there you can see the wonderful nucleus right here, all the Play-Doh all together. And then we go out a little bit on the inner shell. Uh, you have two electrons max, and then on the outer, outer shell, shell we have one uh, electron. We have three protons, so that means we have a total of three electrons. Our group number helps us to determine the number of electrons on the outer shell. Group one has one electron on the outer shell. Our formula—you can see it right there. 
the formula. Very important, po negative 3e plus th positive 3p equals a zero net charge. And that's the way I would like for you to start to uh, think in these sort of terms. I do want the signs on there, the negatives and the positives.